好香啊，太香了。Hello, I am Salman from Pakistan. Today I am in Melon Garden. It's located in Tanfan County, East China, Anhui Province. You can see around me there is a lot of melons. Well, in Pakistan, Pakistan people like to eat melons in summer. It's their favorite fruit. What I didn't expect that the melon seeds came from China. So let's go and check it out. 你好，谢老师。Hello， 你好，你好，你好，你好。哇，你们这有五眼六视的种子呀，那么多。我来给您介绍一下。呃，我们呢是在我们的江淮园艺的种质资源库，在这里呢，我们放了有五千六百多份的各种各样的种子。然后您关心的甜瓜呢，我们在这里有一千一百多份。然后我们通过这些种质资源呢，选育出了很多很多的新品种。啊，这些新品种呢，被销售到咱们巴基斯坦啊、印度很多很多的国家。然后呢，有一个品种非常有名，叫香妃，它在咱们巴基斯坦的这个占据了大概百分之三十的市场份额。Well, let's go to the Jampa's resource bank and let's see what kind of seeds they have. Oh my gosh, so cool! <laughs> wow, thank you so much. Oh. Wow. Let's go now. Well, about here, there is not only melon seed, also have watermelon, pumpkin, and cucumber seeds also. The humidity is 30 percent, and the temperature is about minus four. And this seed they can preserve for 15 years. You can see it. It is so cold. Well, that is so interesting. And now we are going to the lab and see how they breed the melon seeds. So stay with me. Tang 老师，你好。你好，今天来你们的实验室，想了解一下你们是怎么样培养出来一颗好的种子，嗯，能给我们介绍一下吗？嗯，好的，好的，嗯，就是我们目前是利用这个分子辅助育种这套技术，可以从上万份的种子资源中快速的去选育出哪些材料是具有抗性的，然后我们利用筛选到的这个抗性的材料进行一个相应的一个杂交育种，然后再培育出我们这一个，呃。具有抗性比较好的这样一个新的一个品种，以甜瓜为例的话，我们现在像做的甜瓜抗枯萎病，我们也是对我们像以前销售的这个叫香妃这个品种进行这个技术改良，然后提升了它的一个甜瓜抗枯萎病的这个能力。It turns out there is a lot of technology behind a single seed. Melon seed made their own way across the ocean to Pakistan, where they planted and sent to the dining table of Pakistani. Well, let's see what my Pakistani grower thinks about seeds from China. The melon varieties from China that are going to be more popular, that are going to be more beneficial among the farmers of the Pakistan. So, therefore, the farmers in the Pakistan like the melon from China more as compared to the local variety. Thank you so much. 